Hi, this is Chris with Sail Time in Newport Beach. Today I'm going to tell you how to use the B&G Chart Potter, the Zeus 3. This is the home screen, which you can access by touching here. Now if I can see land, the icon or app that I use almost all the time is Sail Steer, which you can see right here. Sail steer is great when I can see land because it gives me all of my data that I need. Apparent wind speed, true wind angle, apparent wind angle, true wind speed, true wind direction. It also gives me my true and apparent visually as well as my tide and my rudder reference indicator as well. Now if I can't see land then I can just click on this and I can go to the chart which will bring up you know what the chart looks like now if my boat is off the chart or not in the center of my chart I can hit clear cursor which puts my boat right in the middle so if I'm off the screen as simple as hitting clear cursor now if there's not a lot of detail in my chart maybe I'm using the wrong chart chip that's located in here so I just make sure that the box is highlighted. I can hit this right here. I can hit scroll over to more options, hit chart source, and maybe it is a different chart chip here. So I can hit that one and can see if there's more detail. Uh, as you can see, this gives me more detail on the chart. So that was the right chart chip. And I can back out of this. Also, we might see other things going on on this if we want to overlay our radar. So if our radar is not overlaid, we can hit overlay radar. We can also look at other options, more options right here, if we wanted to look ahead. If, if now, so if you see that your boat is back, even after you've hit clear cursor, maybe you're in the look ahead mode. So click here, go to more options, and take off look ahead okay now also sometimes it will go it will look like this like like a chart so if you're looking at a chart from home it looks like this but when we're using the chart plotter and being able to look ahead as we are motoring or sailing the boat we would want it in a different mode and so click that more options chart orientation and heading up okay now easiest way to overlay the radar press that and then transmit our radar okay it's starts coming up and you can see that we have our radar we can page in like that and get a little closer we can do the same with this button, or we can go with our hand, either way. Now, if it's a nice sunny day and we don't want to burn a lot of battery power, we can just put that in, on standby until we need it by clicking that. Next thing that's important is the brightness. When we sail at night, uh, it might get a little bright, so we could turn down our brightness, clicking here, we can do that by our hand, or we could do that like this, okay? Now, if it's so dark, we can't see anything. If you, this button right here, hit that four times, the screen will kind of toggles between bright and dark, okay? Well, I hope this was helpful for you, and if there's anything I can do to help you understand the B&G Chart Plotter as a Sail Time member, please give me a call. Thanks a lot.